Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Okay, so two videos ago, we talked about the blade tool, and this is the most common way that I chop up my clips in Final Cut Pro. In this video, I wanna talk about the position tool. Now, by default, Final Cut Pro is set to a magnetic timeline. What does that mean? That means if we add a clip, I've got two clips right here, and if I wanna move it over here, maybe I wanna create like an interim gap. I've got a, I've got a placeholder or something lined up, and I wanna move it over there. It's gonna go ahead and just get sucked back just like a magnet. To avoid that, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go over ahead and click on position tool, keyword shortcut of P, imagine that, position and P for the shortcut tool. And you're gonna know you're on it when you've got a tailless mouse cursor, just like that. So now I'll go ahead and grab this clip and I can move it over here. This can help you avoid confusion when you are creating projects in GoPro, uh, in, GoPro in Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, just make sure when you're getting ready to output, you don't have any of these gaps. So make sure you're just using these as like an interim placeholder. All right, guys, good luck with that. Maybe play around with it. I'll go ahead and chop up a couple more and we'll do keyword shortcut B. We'll chop it right there. We'll go to not select. We'll go to P tool and we can move it just like that. This is great in terms of helping you out to create space and to avoid confusion. Good luck with this, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video where we talk about more tools.